And today I just want to talk about asthma, aka congested lungs. You know, this is just a holistic approach to it. Asthma is a dis-ease reaction caused by a trigger, whether it be an allergen, emotions, or stressors. And and it overstimul it's an overstimulation of the nerve. So what does that mean? Uh, you could be allergic to something or, you know, they're in a, they're like a spring, you know, where everybody's having allergies and stuff because of all the pollen in the air. That could trigger your asthma. Somebody could give you some some bad news or something or say something that make you excited. And that can kind of uh, make you start. <sighs> like if you ever seen Malcolm in the Middle, the kid that was in the wheelchair, I forgot his name. Anytime they, they always used to like mess with him or something, he'd always be like, because <gasps> he'd get real excited, you know, so it's triggered to emotions and then it's triggered to stress. You know, you could get some really, really, really bad news, like your lights is about to be cut off or something and then you could just start breathing heavy. So it could be a reaction. It's like, tr it's a trigger based reaction based on that. And then overstimulation of the nerve. Bronchial tubes, aka, you know, the tissue of the lungs get small and, uh, and they start to hold more mucus than air. So basically... While that's happening, what's happening is your the tissue of the lungs is starting to like squeeze. And as it starts to get smaller, instead of having air in there, it's just having more mucus. So, you know, we need air to breathe. Instead of breathing air, you're just starting to like breathe in mucus. It's starting to like fill up like a like a tub, like, you know, one of them kiddie pools where you put the little holes in there. Is, that's what's starting to happen. Mucus is starting to fill up like that. They get smaller, hold more mucus than air. And then this is what makes breathing difficult, obviously. The mucus builds up. The mucus buildup re results in the lungs getting inflamed and swollen, which further reduces the air supply. In response to this, the lungs tighten up and squeeze out the mucus. This starts the cycle of constriction, inflammation, swelling, and then constriction. Well, all right, I'll, I'll say it like this. Like, if you, if you, believe in creation like me, then you would, then I want you to understand that our body is like a computer and it was created to be that way. So a lot of times when we think something is going wrong or something is happening, it's really our body trying to like fight off what's going on. Like if you imagine your computer got a virus and it just stopped everything was like, well, I know exactly what to do. I'm about to start fixing it. And because we don't really have that information, we start to take things or we start to do things that sometimes can mess up the automated like or can me we don't we don't go along with what the body is doing. The body might be telling us, hey, you need to do this, this and that. And we might be doing that, that and this like it's saying go to the right and we're going to the left. And a lot of times reactions are the body trying to fix itself. This starts the cycle of constriction, inflammation, swelling and constriction. Yes, that's the. That's the body trying to, okay, something is going on. I'm trying to fix it. That's what's going on. The pulse is fast because of a low air supply. So your heart's going to start beating faster. Again, that's, you know, trying to let you know something like something is off. The asthmatic person breathes fast because they are too alkaline, then breathes slow because, because they're too acidic. Body needs large amounts of air in order to break down toxins. What are toxins? Again, like I always say, white sugar, alcohol, synthetic chemicals, and then allergens like, you know, the pollen and stuff like that, that irritate the lungs. So when you're putting these things in the body, that alone, just the body having to break it down, like imagine it's like a like on one of the movies you watch that take place and you see them put old movies and you see them putting the coal in the machine. They're putting the coal in the machine. That's kind of what's happening. It's like it needs a whole bunch of air at one time to handle all that coal because the coal doesn't belong. Let me get where was I? So, yeah, when you put these things in your body, just just eating those foods alone is going to make it harder to breathe because the body needs more air to break them down. Alcohol is included in that. Uh, so, again, white sugar, synthetic chemicals, alcohol, allergens, those just in your body alone will make it harder to breathe whether you ask like those those would be one of the things that start to trigger it and the reaction to that is it causes the fluid to form it in order to protect the membrane so me as a person who suffer from asthma or if you've ever suffered from asthma know anybody after a while when it starts to get really bad like it's like you're starting to cough up water it's like you just cough <clears throat> and it's not really mucus anymore it's really like water that you're spitting out and that's that's the that's the cycle of the body and it is bad when you're going through it, but it is the body trying to fix itself. That's what we where we aren't aware of. Um, 
asthma is holistic. So what do I mean by that? I mean, it's spiritually, it's, it's like a spiritual thing, a mind, emotion, and a body thing. So going back to when I started, I said it's a reaction to allergens, emotions, and stressors. So for example, my grandma, when my cousin, she, she suffers from asthma really bad, just like the kid from uh, Malcolm in the Middle in the wheelchair. And when my cousins used to like, when they get, when she get on her, on um, their nerves, they would like try to get on her nerves and that would trigger her asthma. Like even if they just started cussing or something and it would just, she would just uh, 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 like, because she's starting to get stressed out. So that's, that's what it means by it's like, yeah, that has nothing to do with what she ate. That has nothing to do with what's in the environment. That has nothing to do with allergies. That's just strictly from my cousins stressing her out. And that made it hard to breathe. So it goes beyond just when it's allergy season or if you got or what's in the air or what you just ate or whatever it's a uh, asthma and some other you know diseases go beyond just the body a lot of them are also mental and spiritual and emotional so that was just an example of being having to be emotional um some of the things you want to avoid 100% if you have asthma especially if you have a really bad is number one, like cow's milk. Cow's milk is a mucus cause. Asthma is mucus based. You do not want to be taking in something that causes mucus if you are trying to get rid of mucus. Cow's milk or anything dairy related, you do not want to have that at all. Cigarettes, obviously, if you're trying to breathe, you don't want to be smoking something that makes it harder to breathe. Um, that's that should just kind of be a given. Alcohol, processed foods, you don't want to be dealing with any of those. Um, I'm about to list off some things that you can take if you have asthma. I'm not going to give any dosages because I'm not a doctor. I'm just going to list them off. Vitamin A, it prevents an infection. Vitamin C, strengthens and protects the lungs. Vitamin E, thins mucus and then heals the tissue. Vitamin B6, relieves lung stress. Vitamin D, maintain healthy lungs and sinus, sinuses. Vitamin F, stimulates cell repair. Magnesium, helps repair cells. And then this is just a couple herbs that you can use. Um, garlic, ginseng, golden seal, mullein, and chamomile. So the ones that are most common of those will be garlic, chamomile, will be garlic and chamomile. Just eating a clove of garlic will break, Will like I said in the last video, that will break up so much mucus in your body. If you could withstand to eat it, if you can, if you could withstand to blend it up, like with some carrots and some pineapples, that would be like a good little remedy. Carrots, pineapples, and garlic, and leave the skin on, and then drink it with some ginger. That will that will kill a lot of the mucus in your body immediately. Yeah. If you have any other questions, if you have any other, or well, one more herb that you should get is, is the, uh, one more. Let me go back into this mullen. Mullen is not common, but you should get this if, especially if you used to be a smoker. Or if you if you are a smoker now, it can cleanse your lungs. You can actually use it as a like the same way people use grab or tobacco in their weed. You can actually use it that way and it'll help clear out a lot of the mucus and phlegm in your lungs. You can drink it as a tea. Um, it'll do the same thing. Tea obviously is gonna be better for you than smoking it, but even smoking it will help you. And I'm saying that from experience. Like you can definitely I don't know how to, it's like that, uh, one of them old gum commercials where your lungs just get, and you see the, the person bite it and it, and they showing you that graphic of their lungs getting clear, even though we don't, we know that don't happen when you buy, when you chew gum or whatever, that's what happens. That's literally what it feels like. So if you can get mullen, look into that M U L L I E N, look into that. It's definitely good for you. Um, but yeah, if you have any other questions, if you're interested in the incinerator or any of these supplements, because I do have them all here at the juice bar, including Mullen, let me know. Uh, if you want to schedule a lifestyle change to get your diet changed around so you can continue eating the foods that you like to eat, but can avoid and overcome some of these ailments that you've been that you may suffer from or know anyone that suffers from. Just let me know. Uh, aside from that, peace, to peace and blessings to anyone watching this live or from the future. Have a good one.